beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I am so happy to see you today. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that you and your loved ones are taking care of the best that you can. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I have a little Timu haul for you guys and I immediately when I was getting this set up realized I should have filmed this haul a little bit earlier because there's something in here that I could have really used the other day and that is You'll have to wait and see. Anyways, guys, I'm about to dig into this Timu haul. It's a crafty Timu haul, um, and I'm excited to look through it with you. I did not look at anything yet other than taking it out and seeing a few things, obviously, because you can't take it all out and not notice what, you know, you're looking at sometimes. But um, we'll start here. This little empty bag. And let me pull up the list of everything I got. Um, I am sitting at my computer, so the lighting isn't the best. I apologize for that. Um, okay. So, just so you know, to also preface this before I dig in, um, I will have everything linked in the description box. Um, that's something that I really try to do with anything that I do on my channel is link individual items for you guys in case you do want them. Um, and you don't got to try to dig through them because I know places like Timu, good luck trying to find the item if you don't know what you're looking for. There is so much awesome stuff, uh, so much crazy stuff on there too, so... I'll definitely link everything. Um, and I will also have a referral link if you guys do decide to uh, shop at Timu for the first time. Um, my referral link will get you like a coupon code bundle um, and all this stuff. So if you do check it out, make sure you use that. Um, okay, so starting with this empty baggie, let me find the item. So I was pulling out my haul here and I was like well I assume this was supposed to have something in it um this was supposed to be dice they are here they are right here Whoop. but somehow they made their way out of the bag and I really don't know how but <laughs> I don't know how that happened accidentally but this is seven piece D and D galaxy dice set, um, high quality faceted dice for TRG RPG dungeons and dragons board games, gaming's gifts. And that's the title of it. So sometimes they'll have little keywords in there in the title. So let me hold this up for you guys. It is sparkly too. I'll take a picture and insert it here so you guys can see a little bit better. Like I said, I do not, I'm not sitting at my normal setup with my link, my, my ring light, my ring light. Um, but you see my cat's tail up there. <laughs> this set has seven pieces. All seven pieces are here, uh, despite it coming out of the packaging. Um, so if you know what D&D &D dice sets look like, that is what this is. We've got, you know, our good old D20 here. Even if you guys don't play, uh, and you don't have to play D&D, &D, by the way. There's a lot of games that use these dice, not just D&D. &D. This one might be better for you guys to see the galaxy theme of it. So it's purple and blue, like, swirled together, and then it's also glittery. But like I said, I will take a picture and pop it up. This dice set was only $1.71. Oh, wow. These are stunning. These are so stunning. I really wanted to get some dice. Um, and I actually had, like, so many dice in my cart. Um, but I wanted to, like, you know, see how the quality was going to be. These are really, really nice. They're beautiful. And hopefully you guys see how beautiful they are too. Because hopefully I have had a photo popped up over here for you guys while I've been talking. Um, oh, by the way, this is a collaboration with Timu. So thank you to Timu for uh, collaborating with me again. Um, just wanted to throw that in there. I forgot to mention it. Um, and then I do have this dice set. Was that... I forgot that I had two dice sets in here. So let me make sure that that was the correct one. 
Okay, the other one is seven piece double colored dice set for Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons, man, I can't talk. RPG, MTG, and other tabletop games, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, gift, gaming, gift. This other one is $1.99, so they're both really, really good prices. I think that this one is the one I'm telling you about right now, and that one was the Galaxy one. Oh, it sounds like the cats are uh, playing up there. Because this one is not glittery, and I don't know. I feel like it fits. I feel like it fits double sided die or double colored dice set in title more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you guys hear that scrambling? So here is what these ones look like. Once again, I will take a picture for you guys. But they are purple and blue. I'll also take a picture of them with the other dice so you can see the two different types of dice together. These ones are also really pretty, but I am definitely partial to the galaxy ones with the glittery, glittery look to them. So here are these ones. And they do both, both sets do have the numbers, you know, shaded in so that they're easy to read. You guys can kind of see these ones are more transparent. And then you can see that sparkle in them. And then these ones are solid colored. Um... But these ones were just $1.99. So, like I said, really, really good prices on these dice. Um, very, very happy with that. Very happy with that. And that one came in a little zippy bag and inside of another little zippy bag. So, here in a minute, I will pick up my mess and I will put them back in these for now. I do have a crocheted dice bag that I will be able to put them into, though. So, very, very happy with those. Um, those are not quite as crafty. Some things in here are more crafty than other things. Um, everything else I think is pretty crafty. So there is this, um, I do not remember what this is even called. Let's see. Let me scroll through my list of things that's in here. Okay. This is a beading device. Um, it says one set beading device, long stainless steel opening, curved needle, uh, or curved be beading needle, jewelry beads, simple wire rope, pin, DIY, print drawings, embroidery cloths, threads, needles, and instruction, weaving tool, punch needle, craft, DIY sewing accessories, DIY cross stitch. That's the whole entire name of it. It has a very long name of things that you might be searching for, um, that might be related and that's why they name them like that. But I got this. There you go. You can see it a little bit better against the purple. Um, I got this so that I could attempt putting beads on yarn when I'm doing amigurumi. Uh, I thought it would be so cool to be able to put beads in my like amigurumi's hair and things like that. And I was trying. I, I, I attempted to do it without th something like this. And it was not going very well. So I was like, okay, I need something that I can put in the bead. Like this goes up inside the bead. It's very, very like, you know, it can become really, really skinny and go in the bead. And then you sl slide your yarn through here and you pull it back out of the bead. And it pulls your yarn through the bead. And uh, I actually really needed one of these. And then guess how much this was on Timu? 79 cents. I mean, like something like this, you know, you would expect it to not cost a whole lot, but you know, they always do. Like I was looking at these on Amazon. Not that they're like super expensive on Amazon, but like they're not 79 cents on Amazon. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but this is a beading tool. I don't really need to put this back in its little baggy. Um, so I'll just set that to the side. Um, but yeah, 79 cents. Uh, and this seems perfect. This seems like exactly like what I wanted it to be. So stay tuned. I will let you guys know how um, beating amigurumi hair works on my next amigurumi project. Well, you know, as long as my next amigurumi project, I want to bead. Uh, okay, what next? Let's do these. This is stickers. I really liked my stickers that I got last time, so I wanted to experiment with some more stickers. 
Um, I love stickers and they do these really cool um, packs of stickers on Timu where they're like themes. They do a ton of them. Like you could literally find, I know I definitely went past it. Oh my goodness, where is it? Um, they sell like packs of stickers for like every theme that you can possibly think of. Like, you know, you want something themed around a certain game or like, like hobby or interest that you love. Um, I'm, I'm tr sorry, guys. I'm trying to talk while I'm looking at this. Are the stickers not on here on my list? No. Okay, well, regardless, I will show you these stickers. I'm not really sure why these this sticker isn't on my list. It should have been. Anyway, about it, if I can find this particular stickers pack, um, I will put it in the description box too. It might be that this one isn't available. This particular listing isn't available anymore. Um, that happens a lot on websites like Timu. They have a ton of listings, a ton of listings for the same item even, but their listings do come and go quite frequently. Um, but this was a mental health, um, like motivational, inspiring, like that type of thing, themed pack of stickers. Um, and so these stickers are all themed around like inspirational quotes and things like that. Like this one says, as tempting as it may be, you cannot hate yourself into health. And it's got a little kitty looking in a mirror. And that is literally so true. This is something I struggled with so bad in my younger years, like my teenage years and stuff. Um, I'll just read you some of these, but they all have cute little, little like motifs on them, like cute little pictures to go with it. You are worthy of kindness and care just as you are now. I may be a mess, but I'm doing my best. I'm sorry if you've heard otherwise, but the truth is you are not di at all difficult to love. It's another one with a picture of a kitty. It's going to be okay. Picture of a dog. They're all like really cool, like, like cool little animal themes. Sometimes it feels like the horrible feeling will never end. It's important to hold on and wait it out because it never lasts. Every time you thought you wouldn't make it, you were wrong. And you are even stronger and more capable now. That's something that I always, um, I always remember as like, as like a good motivation to keep going kind of thing. Is like every time that you thought you couldn't do this. Every time you thought that, that, that you, you were not capable of surviving this. Um, of making it through, of handling it. Like, I think handling it is a good way to put it. Every time that I thought that I couldn't handle it, like I just could not take any more, I couldn't do it, I was wrong because I've come through all of those times. So this time that I'm feeling like I can't handle it, I can't take it, I'm not going to be able to do this, I can't do this anymore, I'll be okay. I'm not, I might not be okay in that minute, but I'll be okay. Because guess what? I have a track record of being wrong about thinking I can't handle things. Let me make sure this is focused at the proper depth. Okay. All right, guys. So that is some inspirational um, quote stickers. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are 50 stickers there, by the way. Um, you know what I'll do, actually? I'll do these stickers next because they, they are listed in there. This is 52 pieces of bookish stickers. If you haven't heard bookish, it's kind of like a TikTok phrase. It's like a, a younger, like a Gen Z phrase, I guess. Um, but you can pretty much ascertain what it means by book-ish. Um, but it's just basically book lovers. Um, it's 52 pieces of bookish stickers, book stickers for Kindle, laptop, computer, phone, water uh, bottle, waterproof stickers, book lover is the title. These were $1.79 for 52 stickers. So here is 
basically this is kind of the, the th same thing you can go expect from any stickers that you look up. They'll be anywhere from like a dollar something to like five dollars usually depending on what you're looking at um but they have books or they have stickers for everything and I just love that you can like look up your stickers you know I know that sounds silly but like they really do and they're cheap they're so cheap you can find stickers for like everything so this one says handle with care I just finished my book and it says fragile with like a little book over or over a little book in the middle there. I love that. That's, that's accurate. Oh, this one is, um, some different books and I see a court of thorns and roses in here and throne of glass in here, which are some books that I've read. My weekend is all booked. And it's got like a little coffee and books. I like my books spicy and my coffee icy. This is me. This is literally me in a sticker. I'm going to put this in my um, planner. You guys know how I added the um, book journal part of it where I'm keeping track of like how much I read this year. Oh, that's going in there. Book spice and everything nice. I also really dig that one. Buy me books and call me a good girl. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, more books, like actual books. Let kids read what they want. Introverted, but willing to discuss books. But you guys get the idea. These are all book themed. I don't even know what's all in here. Um, that's the thing about these is you don't know what's in there. You might be able to kind of look at the, usually there's a picture of like, just like a bunch of stickers sort of splayed out in a pile. Um, but you don't know if you're going to get those ones either because they're a random assortment. The thing I will say is these stickers so far and all the stickers that I bought in my last haul, um, I did not have duplicates, so they're really good about giving you du not giving you duplicates. Um, and I'm not seeing any duplicates in either of those from what I'm seeing so far, but my last haul, I bought several packs of like Nomi themed stickers and I did not have duplicates in any of those. I've gone through them and actually used quite a few of those when I was doing Christmas cards and stuff. Um, so I highly, highly recommend their stickers. They're really cheap and they come with so many, um, $1.79. You guys literally cannot beat that. Um, these are... Okay, this is three rolls of transparent dot double-sided adhesive tape, a hundred pieces of round dot slash roll adhesive tape for scrapbook, crafts, and journaling um, is the title of it. These are $1.49 for three of them. They come in a pack like this, and then inside of this pack, they are actually individually packed as well. So this is like, you know, a, a resealable pack. And I do like that most things come in resealable packs, so you can use them for storage as well. And you can see they don't come with like a ton on them, but there should be like a hundred dots. So I'm excited to try this out for um, uh, junk journaling. You guys know that I've made a junk journaling video in the past. I haven't really junk journaled since then um but part of the reason is i needed to get some adhesives so here are the dots i'm not sure if you'll be able to see them because they are clear but you can kind of see the reflection on the on the clear they're little there you go you can see it right there at the end so they're little circles of adhesive um, and then you put those on the back of like your pictures or whatever that you're trying to put in your journal and then it'll be sticky on both sides. So I'm just looking for some different methods of adhering things into my junk journal because um, junk journaling is all about sticking a bunch of stuff in there and you know most of the things do not have their own stickiness basically unless they're stickers or like washi tape. 
So speaking of washi tape, I did also get some washi tape. I'm very excited about it. Um, let me see, where is my washi tape listing info? And I did see that a second ago. Do, 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 do. Na, 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 na. Okay, it is this box. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at all those washi tapes. They're all galaxy themed. So this is 12 pieces, um, a 12 piece set of stars. Okay. So I'll just read you the title. 12 piece set stars, planet, washi tape, gold foil, masking tape, kawaii decorative adhesive tape, sticker, scrapbooking, stationery. So this is taped onto here. Let me grab some scissors and, and run it through that tape. Beautiful. This is 12 rolls of washi tape. So 12 different designs and they're all galaxy themed. So this can slide out of here. Ooh, and they are all like gold foiled. So they have like tie dye kind of backgrounds, you know, with the different colors, like in the galaxy setup, you've got a lot of different shades of like dark blues and purples. And then you've also got some of like the pinks and reds. Look at that. I love those colors. I think that's going to be so nice. So let me pull some out of here. They are packed in here nicely. I will keep this box for storage, for storing these um, so they don't roll around in my drawers. So here is the blue one, one of the like lighter blues. Let me attempt to focus you. There we go. And so you can see how much it comes with. I didn't expect there to be a whole lot on each roll because this came with 12 rolls for $3.69. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. $3.69 for all of these. So you don't get a ton of each one, but like you get such a variety. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Wow, those really, really impressed me. Those are so nice. I'm so glad I got them. So there's some with like, these ones have constellations. I don't know if you can read that, but it says Virgo. So we've got like different types of stars. These ones are, you know, more um, the diamond shaped stars. And then we've also got like regular shaped stars. We've got some like constellation type of stuff going on here. Like an yet another type of star. Like we've got some some rocket motifs some time and rockets and moons and planets that's like the a planet kind of looking like a hot air balloon i love those i am super happy with those i probably won't keep it in the clear plastic but what i'll probably do is put this in my craft drawers just literally in the box because it keeps them all together keeps them from rolling around i really do um for the most part i really am impressed with their packaging a lot of these things like i said you could literally store them in these packagings and use them from these packagings so i love that um the next thing i'm going to show you guys is i got some beads so i can actually use these with the bead threader that i got I got a few different beads, so I need to make sure I'm looking at the right ones. Do, 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 do. Let me open that link and make sure that's... Yes. Okay. This is 100 pieces of... This is the title. 100 pieces bag, AB color, star shape acrylic beads, transparent rainbow color beads for jewelry, Korean making, DIY handmade is the title. Um, I got some stars in this kind of iridescent, if that's the word I'm looking for, blue. 
Um, I really like those. They've kind of got like a purple, a purple and blue, you know, oil slick sort of effect to them. I love them. If you can't tell, I was really feeling a galaxy kick at the moment when I was making this order. I shouldn't say moment. I like stewed over my cart for like weeks figuring out what I wanted. I don't know if you guys do that too, where like you add things and add things and then take things away and add things and take things away. That's me. Um, really, really bad for that. And then half the time I don't even make, most of the time I don't even end up making the order actually. I really like, I tell my hubby that one of my hobbies is curating carts because I really like to online shop, but obviously do not have the money to online shop for, for very many times or very much very often. So I make carts, I find the best deals. I like meticulously make the cart and then I don't buy it. But anyways, this comes with a hundred pieces and it was 99 cents. Uh, I don't want to open this right now because it is not a resealable bag, but um, I do plan on using these um, probably in hair. So like I said, stay tuned and you'll see those get used. These are rhinestones or sequins. I Okay, these were called 150 pieces of... 150 pieces of flat round rhinestones plus 20 flat shaped large nail rhinestones <clears throat> shapes charms 3d rectangular strass flat back nail crystal gemstone manicure jewelry making accessories this was 89 cents i don't remember what i got these for i know at the time i very specifically had like like specific crafts in mind for everything i was looking at um I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I was looking at these for. What was I looking at these for? I don't know. I'm sure it'll come to me. Um, obviously, it was something I was interested in doing. Oh, you know what? I think it might have been... It might have been, I don't know, um, that I plan on making a mermaid fairy house at some point. Uh, you guys know how I make those clay fairy houses. Um, I plan on making a mermaid themed one at some point, and I might have been thinking of that when I got these. So let me see if I can focus you guys in the bag. Is that possible? There you go. So you guys can kind of get a look-see at what we're looking at. And I'll take a picture of these two. I think these will be easier to see in a picture. I'll pop that up over here. Uh, but yeah, 150 pieces, uh, 89 cents. And they have different sizes to them. There's not really a whole bunch to say about these. Um, they are what they are. They're very small. These are um, frequently used for like decorating your nails. If that helps you to kind of get an idea of what they're for. But you can use them in anything. Any type of crafting, stuff like that. Um, I'm not blown away by them or anything. They're very just, you know, what they are, little, little baggie of rhinestones. It would probably help if I remembered what in the world I was thinking of when I got these, but oh well. <laughs> what is this? Oh, these were so cheap is part of the reason I got these. I'm a sucker for a good deal. Okay, this is 540 pieces of Lucky Star Origami Paper Strips Galaxy. Eight different designs of beautiful outer space starry sky for art, DIY, craft, supplies, pastel, star folding paper. These were $1.99. Oh, cool. They come on like a thingy that holds them together. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have seen. This is so satisfying. Oh, and it smells like paper. It smells like books. Mm, I love the smell of books. I don't know if you guys have seen these. Um, oh, gosh. Origami stars that people have been doing. Uh, they've been pretty popular lately to like fold these little origami stars. That's what these are for. Um, but I actually thought that these would be good for, um, junk journaling as well. Basically, uh, similar to washi tape. I thought I could use these little strips, um, in junk journaling. So they, this is a galaxy themed one. 
Um, I'm going to say, though, right off the bat, they're a little bit less saturated than I would prefer. They're, they're um, very lightly printed. If that makes sense, they're kind of like an out of focus print, too. Um, I think it's just also after looking at some of the other Galaxy-ish things I've gotten, the saturation level of the color is just super light. Let me show you in comparison. And this is inside of its box, so it's got even like a layer to keep that's going to make it not look quite as saturated. And you guys see the difference in, in like how um, concentrated the dye is. So that's the one thing I will say. I wish that these were more... Not to say saturated again, but I wish that these were more saturated. I wish they were a darker color and, you know, not like, I don't know, they look like faded, kind of. But this came with 540 pieces for $1.99. So really good deal. Really cheap. This is 540 little scraps or little like slices of paper. This would be so good for so many things. Anything where you're needing a lot of little strips of paper, this would save you from having to go through and cut them all out. Um, I can't think of anything super specific off the top of my head, but I know there are definitely crafts where you're using like little strips of paper um, and you're having to sit there and cut each one out. A dollar ninety nine for five hundred and forty pieces. Um, I got the galaxy ones, but there are other ones as well on Timu. All right, and then I got a different song stuck in my head than the one I was actually humming because my, well, not humming. I don't even know what you call that. Da 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 But I, my, my, I'm just gonna say humming was so like not on point that it sounded like a different song to me and put a different song in my head. Hmm, I'm so weirded out. I am missing this one as well. I'm assuming, like I said, these must not be available anymore. This was another set of stickers that, I believe this was another inspirational quotes kind of one. Let me look at this one though. Oh, this one was for, um, was for junk journaling. So they look like this. They're very like, very plain, like they don't have pictures on them or anything. They're just different types of fonts um, with quotes. Whoops. Trying to kind of show you and not throw them all over the place. So uh, I thought these would be really nice for junk journaling. So if you guys don't remember junk journaling, um, I kind of need to explain a little bit since I got so many things for junk journaling. But it's basically where you have this like empty journal and you just like put whatever you want in it. So like you put like... Um, you can put like pieces of paper in there that you have like distressed. Like I've taken, um, I had like a book that was damaged and so I took pages out of it and I soaked them in tea. Um, and then I let them dry and then now they've got like, you know, that like aged kind of look to them, that weathered kind of look where they're, they're tinted. They're a little bit like, um, like wavy and stuff like that. And you can like rip them into different shapes and stuff and you tape that or glue that in there. You can put like moss in there and flowers in there. You can put like little quotes in there. Like people, um, will sometimes cut things out of like magazines, cut words out of magazines and put those in there. Um, you can put photos in there if you want to. Uh, stickers are super popular. They're literally just whatever you want them to be if you haven't heard of junk journaling. So um, I thought these would be cute little like motifs to have to theme like maybe maybe I want like a little theme of a quote for a page. So um let's I'll just read you the first few that are in the stack I don't know what's in here of course like I said that's kind of the thing with Timu stickers it's like you kind of don't know what you're getting and I think that's fun I like little random grab bags 
Um, this one says, whether it's a painting, sculpture, photograph, poem, or song, the very best artwork comes from being absolutely honest. Chelsea Stark. This next one, I'm still learning to love the parts of myself that no one claps for. Rudy Francisco. Two truths separated by these waking hours. My days will start alone. My nights will end alone. All the unpainted details. Tyler not Greg's, Greg, Gregson Rest. Uh, love is the beauty of the soul. St. Augustine. Never could I breathe love if I did not first learn to inhale a little bit of chaos. I always love that one. Uh, Christopher Poindexter. In the end, there was no fixing the things that we destroyed, and that is why it's the, it's the end, and not just another chapter in the long and sordid story of us. Jessica Cadoff. Ooh. No matter how many miles divide us, I am at peace knowing my roads will eventually meet yours as long as I keep driving. Jessica Cadoff. I uh, don't know who she is, but I, I like that one. Me and my hubby met long distance. Um... 1400 miles so i definitely feel that one i definitely feel that one but i think these are going to be really really nice for junk journaling um like i said with other the other stickers they were a dollar 79 um i would have been looking in that j same general pr price range trying to find like good deals so these would have been around that same price basically just search anything that you would like can think of that you might want for stickers and they'll have stickers like just search whatever it is stickers and like they're gonna have it um this next thing is cloth labels i thought these would be really nice for the um like garments and things like that that i've been making and actually I might have time to sew this into something real quick before I leave. At the time of filming this, I am leaving tomorrow for my trip to Michigan, by the way. Um, but I am planning on, I'm trying to do a little bit of pre-filming for you guys. So this will come out a little bit later. But these are little teeny tiny. They're so tiny. Um, handmade stickers. Or not stickers. Um, cloth tags. So it says handmade with love handmade and then that little like embroidery type of thing and then with and then heart and then this would go like at the neck or something of like for example I have a little sweater that I made for my niece who's going to be born soon oh so excited I leave tomorrow you guys but here's what it looks like it comes with 50 of them um, this is 50 pieces, cloth labels, handmade label, fold tags, sheep heart pattern, handmade label for knitted hats, printed cotton, woven sew tags, teenager stuff, cheap stuff, weird stuff, mini stuff, cute aesthetic stuff, cool gadgets, unusual items. That's the name of this item. $1.29. A dollar twenty-nine. That's fantastic. These are very tiny, by the way. Um... They might be like smaller than you would want them to be, but they're perfect for what I wanted them for. Um, so they are very small. I would say they're less than an inch. Is there a measurement on here? Let me see. Let me pull that up. Oh my. I just clicked on them. 83 cents at the current moment. Oh, they come in eight, no, 10 different designs, by the way. That was just the design I chose. There are 10 different ones. Um, yes, they do have it. So they are white or beige in color. Material is cotton. Product uh, is a garment label size 20 by 40 millimeters, 0.79 by 1.5 inch or 1. Point, yeah, 1.5 inches. Quantity 50 uh, material cloth. Um, and some of them uh, don't fold. So I think the reason it says by 1.57 inches is because unfolded, I think that that's the length that those are um, in their like height. Because some of these you don't fold. Or, or you do fold, but they don't have them folded in the picture, I think is actually the case. But yeah, I, uh, they were $1.29 when I got them and they are currently on sale for $0.88. Cents. But um, those will be linked in the description box below. All right, and my final two items are scissors. 
that was the item that I was telling you guys that, oh wait, I have one more item after that. Uh, that was what I was telling you guys I could have really used when I was doing my rug. You guys, I told you guys I really could have used these. Uh, when I was doing my rug, my Hobbit rug, I really, really need new scissors my sewing scissors are like not sharp anymore and so I was trying to cut that fusible interfacing um and I was struggling to cut the fusible interfacing so I was like oh I really need scissors and I had totally forgotten about these because it had so much going on <laughs> So this is a three pack of scissors. I thought these were beautiful. And it's so funny too, because I was looking at these, I was like obsessing over these and wanting to get them on Timu. And then like not long after I made that purchase, I saw these on Walmart. Walmart had them exact same like listing, like exact same pictures. So <laughs> I look like some weird Edward Scissorhands right now, but this is what these are. Um, these are three piece titanium craft scissor set. Perfect for sewing, arts, and school projects. These were $6.52 for all of them, for all three pairs. They come in blue, purple, green, and blue and black. Uh, and they all have this really cool titanium color to them. Um, I've noticed like all things that say they're titanium have this like oil slick kind of effect to them. This is like my favorite metal. I love the way that these look. But this is a three pack of them. Um, yeah. I don't know. I opened the listing because I wanted to look at it for some reason. Um, they seem nice and sharp to me. Let me. Well, I have paper over here I was going to try cutting. You know what? I'll do it. I don't want to use them on paper because I really do need to keep some scissors sharp enough to use on cloth. Okay, on paper, perfectly sharp. Uh, I don't have anything that I can, like, use them on cloth-wise. But if you guys hang out on my channel um, frequently at all, you will definitely see me use them. But uh, they come in this, like, full-sized ones. Like, I've got... These are my 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 current... Um, fabric scissors. These are stainless steel ones, but I have used them on so many things. They were like my craft scissors, my not cloth scissors, just craft scissors. I have never needed cloth scissors because I don't, I'm not a sewer. However, uh, these ones are Singer brand, by the way. I don't know if you guys can read that on the metal. Um, these were, I think from Hobby Lobby, like several years ago. But now that I'm doing crochet, more and more I find myself trying to cut fabric and it actually being an issue. Oop. So these are the same size. Actually, these have a longer blade. And then we've also got this kind of medium in between size. Huh. This medium in between size might actually be more comparable to my current pair and then we've also got these smaller ones that are more like hair cutting scissor size these are very light this pair in particular i think these other ones are heavy uh really heavy just because of the amount of metal i'm so excited about these this is definitely one of those crafter things that scissors makes you like so happy I am so happy to have more scissors and to have sharp scissors. And then on the scissor, uh, on the scissor theme, we also have some little craft scissors, little uh, embroidery scissors. Let me see if there is a listing for this one. I don't think so. Okay. So this one is called Retro Scissors. I'm thinking that this particular listing might not be available. Like I said, I will double check and if I can find them, put them in the description box for you guys. Um, but these are embroidery scissors, which I like collect embroidery scissors. 
uh, especially these ones that are in like the titanium color scheme. I really, really like them. Like you saw me a second ago use these ones. These ones came from Hobby Lobby like a bajillion years ago. My hubby got them for me. Um, but these ones are bigger and I, I, I do really like these bigger ones too. They're like kind of in between like a regular scissor size. Here's them next to those little scissors I just showed you. And like embroidery scissors. I think these are great for crafting though. Um, I don't use them for just embroidery. I barely ever do anything that would be classified as embroidery. I don't even know if I would classify the things I do as embroidery. That's just amigurumi faces. But um, I like to use these for cutting yarn. So these are the type of thing that I stick in my project bags. Um, and I have, you know, I need like a million of them. But I stick these in my project bags and I use them when I am working on crochet projects. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the detail. They have little flowers. So these are really pretty. I love them. These are definitely sharp. These are very sharp. So very happy with those love them. Um, like I said, I don't have the listing apparently. Um, I, like I said, I don't know if it's not available anymore. Um, but they definitely would have these in another listing if this particular one wasn't available. Um, but they wouldn't have been more than a few bucks. So really, really good price. For kitchen and outdoor use. <laughs> So it has like the manufacturer like sticker on here that says like the manufacturer name and address and all this stuff. And it says that the product is for kitchen and outdoor use. I don't think so. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and then one more item. So these are supposed to be little um, like pens that you can cut stuff with. Uh, five piece set or six piece set, 11 piece, two set, art utility, knife pen set for stickers, scrapbooking, cutting tool, express, box knife, lettering knife, school supplies, DIY craft supplies is the name. This was 99 cents. It is on sale for 69 cents right now. Um, they come in green, pink, blue, white, yellow, and gray. I got mine in pink. These, I've never used these before, but um, as someone who doesn't trust myself with an X-Acto knife, but sometimes needs that precision type of cutting, I thought that this might be a really good solution. So it is a pen. It's got a little rubber. I got to figure out how to use it. Okay, I think that this probably comes off, right? Bear with me momentarily. Let me look at the listing to see if it tells me. Um, that way I don't go breaking it. But I think that that probably comes off. Okay, I don't see any pictures with this even on there. So it definitely comes off. Okay, good. Um, that's just there for like probably shipping purposes, but it looks like this. It's just a pen it even has a, um, push thing, a, uh, retractable pen. Um, but instead of having a pen at the tip, it has a tiny little blade. You guys see that? And I have replacement blades. So I've got four replacement blades that can just go inside of here. And then this is basically akin to having like a little X-Acto knife. Okay, I'm excited. I can try this out on paper. So let me see, let me, let me try using this. And there's a lot of things that this could be useful for, especially if you're into paper crafts, you know? Okay. I didn't push super hard, so I don't know how hard you have to push. Don't mind. This is just a receipt that I was doing tallies on. <laughs> but if you can see, there is a little heart 
and I am going to attempt to pop it out. Okay, I, I pushed hard enough to pop it out very easily. There we go, except for like one little spot. So I cut out a tiny heart and it was literally just as easy as drawing it. That is so cool. This was definitely worth 99 cents. And the fact that it comes with replacement blades, you guys can see with a little heart I cut out, that that literally was so easy. Oh my gosh. That is going to be so useful. Love it. This was a very successful crafting haul. I'll put this little like silicone thingy in here, but I don't think I'll probably use it. I'm sure it was more for like the safety of shipping it, you know, not having a blade. But the blade is inside of here. And all of the blades on the replacement ones are capped, by the way. So that you're not going to accidentally cut yourself when you're replacing it. This is super, super cool. All right. Well, that was my Timu haul. My little crafty Timu haul. I also had a little bit of other stuff in there. I am very happy with everything. Um, the only thing that I'm really that, like, like, like um, maybe... <laughs> maybe not super stoked about is these random rhinestones but that's more of a personal idea or a personal opinion of like what did I get these for oh you can see that they're shiny but they were like 89 cents so you know I don't know maybe I'll remember what I got them for at some point <laughs> anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed my little Timu haul and I will see you guys on the next video bye guys